Disclaimer for those with sensitive ears and hearts, this podcast is definitely not safe for work and not PC. If you don't want to listen, there are better podcasts out there. If you do listen, please be understanding. Thank you. Hello and welcome to Therapy with a Psychopath. My name is Bob. And my name is Oz. We will be talking about all manner of subjects for the next hour or so. Could be 45 minutes, hour, half an hour, doesn't matter. Uh, from anime to movies to science. And sex. Well, maybe. Uh, and even our problems, whatever we have, whatever we need to talk about, we'll go with it. Uh, because this is a therapy session for us and hopefully you enjoy it. Well, that was a nice intro. <laughs> it was an amazing intro. <laughs> that was that was actually pretty decent. Uh, it could be a little bit better, but you know. Of course, if a girl wrote it, it would be beautiful. Oh, well, why, why girl though? Girls write the best stuff. They write the best stuff. Even when they're not trying to sound sexy, they write something sexy. If it's a pretty girl. If it's an ugly fat chick, oh no. No, 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 no. You're digging a hole for yourself. People will hear this and they'll think. I've buried dead bodies. I'm not afraid to dig another hole. You have not buried a dead body, you liar. <laughs> I've buried several dead bodies. No, you haven't. Yeah, multiple. I've hugged dead bodies, touched dead bodies, buried dead bodies. Okay, wait. I think I know where you're going with this because I know, I think I know. Did you work for a morgue? No. No? Actually? No, I have friends that were in a funeral home. There you go. That's the thing that I remember. I have friends that are with a funeral home. Sometimes they need help, so I help them at the funeral home. I see. So, you have not, like, specifically killed these people. <laughs> so, I... Uh, if I want to, I know where to put them. Oh, my God. I don't even know that. I, I like, maybe... Actually, do tell me. About what? Tell me where to put them. Because I want to know, and uh, maybe I'll let someone else know. So just Please be advised, anyone that's listening to this conversation, by no facts or anything, have we ever killed a person, <laughs> tortured a person, or done anyone against their will? For now. No, not for now. Never. Okay? For now. Never. For now. Ne- you Why you could do this all day? You freaking psychopath. <laughs> Thank you. You're, you're, you're insane. You're actually insane. No, thank you. Thank you. Now... The most confusing part about dead people right. are fat dead people. Fat dead people? Fat dead people. Why? So heavy. You're lighter when you're alive than you are dead. Lighter? How are you lighter alive than dead? Okay, a 250 pound person, if they're alive, we okay. could pick them up easily. How? What do you mean? When we hug them and we pick them up. Okay. We could easily pick them up. Right. But when, when a person is dead and 250 pounds, you will never be able to pick them up. Never. Ooh. I don't understand the... All the muscles are loose. Even if you're 250 pounds, your muscles are tense somewhere. Okay. So they're they're focused in a certain point. I see. But because you're dead, the muscles are moving around so much. Except when you hit rigorous mortis. But that's a different case scenario. But it's still heavier. Wow. It's just that you can't like control the muscles, so you can't focus the muscles at a certain point. When you're dead, you're dead. That's it. So wow. whenever we have to do 250-pound peoples or over, and they're big... It takes like two or three people just to carry them to the fridge. No way. Oh, yeah. And when you have to move them to the coffin, it's terrible. Really? Yeah. That's 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 interesting. Our favorite tool is a boogie board. A boogie board? A boogie board. What's a boogie board? You, it's literally a board that you put on their body, so that way it slides easier. Isn't that like what they use for furniture? Like, the, or is it the same type of board? It's the same same concept. Same concept, except it's like, it has a, like more of a... Like, it's wider okay. and longer, so you can put a person on it. I see. So like a stretcher. Yes, a plastic stretcher. A plastic stretcher. But they call it a boogie board. Why boogie board though? Because the because the it looks person, like, it looks like a surfboard. Like a, it does look like a surfer, and the person is taking a ride on it when they're moving. Oh no, this whole this whole conversation is like just so morbid. But it's beautiful. That is beautiful. I mean, no. Especially when you're getting money. What? Yeah, people what? tip. Tip for what? Yeah, I've gotten tips. From a uh, uh, from family members oh, coming. Hold on. I don't know if you're bullshitting or not. No, I'm not. Why are you getting tips? People wouldn't. No, what I'm saying is when people people die, right? Yeah. And the family members bury them. Right. They always give the people that are helping them tips. Really. On top of the charge that they the funeral service charged them. Why are they giving them tips? I don't know. I just got a stack. I just got a hundred dollar bill. I just got a hundred one uh-huh. time. I was like, Why are you giving me a hundred? Take it. And my coworker was like, Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Really. That's insane. Why would people give money to people? Like, you're already paying them. It's Why a process you... of grief. When you spend money, you feel a little more happy. So you get over the grief a little bit. I, I guess I understand a little bit. 
But that's that's crazy. But I get money. I don't care. Yeah, but you're taking away money from like like the people. Who Did need I force it. it out of them? I know you didn't, but like it's it just feels wrong. Then you know it's wrong to run a funeral home. Yeah. <laughs> Does the, like a lot of religions don't they just like uh they just do it in like their their religious center and just like put him in the grave like they don't they don't charge too much like crazy well that's the case but also remember everything's run by like a business and their American laws yeah that's true like for example when you go to a cemetery you cannot buy a plot you can't buy a plot you cannot buy a plot from the cemetery you have to go to the, a church or organization that bought a huge amount of plots. I see. A whole area, and you buy from them. You can't buy directly from the cemetery. That's insane. So they, they like, buy, like, so the church buys, like, a giant plot, and then the and then the well, synagogue buys a giant plot, and the mosque buys a giant plot. Yeah, depending on the organization. And, and, the they, and they sell it back to... The people. Wow. And it's like manufacturer distributor. Except the manufacturing is just land. Yeah, exactly. It's a good business. I want to open up a cemetery one day. Yeah, but there's not, like, enough land for that. This is America, bro. <laughs> we make land. Yeah, we make land. <laughs> Kill a forest? Not a big deal. That's that's horrible. Drain a river? No. Beautiful. Oh, my God. I don't need that. You know we drained the river once, and we turned into one of America's greatest landmarks? Grand Canyon? The Grand Canyon. That was a river? Yes, the Grand Canyon was a river. Actually? Yes, they created a dam, so all the water was drained from it. No And way. there's a little only amount of water. I'm, Why do you think it's so deep? Water was running through the whole entire thing. Why? No. No. I'm Googling that. Google Keep it. Keep talking. I am Ozzy. I am strong. Okay, not like that. Fuck you. Fuck you too. Fuck you. <laughs> Grand- There's a king size bed somewhere in this room. <laughs> if you want to fuck me, let's go. No, I'm okay. Hold on. Grand Canyon River. And because of his lack of knowledge and his stupidity... We shall be talking about the day of Ozzy. So, <laughs> this is a rant about the day of Ozzy. So, today I went to a doctor. Why am I talking like that? Today okay. I went to a doctor. I went to a doctor. So, I went to the doctor to get a blood test. And I'm a big fat guy. So, the lady, she, the big, she's a Russian grandmother. She, she looks at me like, which arm? What do you mean, which arm? Which arm they take out of? Uh, I don't know. It makes sense because I'm fine. They too. So she takes, she puts a rubber band around my arm and she slaps it. I don't see. Of course not. You're not going to see. <laughs> you too fat. Shut up. <laughs> Where is it? So she looks at one arm and she says, you too fat. She takes out the rubber band, puts it on the other one. Oh my God. She couldn't actually see your vein. She couldn't see my vein. She looked and she said, you good. I, I can't do a Russian accent. I'm sorry. I see a vein. She I, puts I see vein. I uh, yes, exactly. I see vein. I will point I will put a needle in it now. Yes, exactly what she did. Yeah? Yes. And so she puts it in. Yeah. She tries to grab the tube, she yanks the needle out from my arm. Because oh, oh, it stretches oh. out. And she said, Fuck shit! No way. Because you're not supposed to do that. It hurts. And I'm like, is it supposed to bleed like this a little? Oh no. It's okay, it's okay. Oh no, 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 no. She said, it's okay, it's okay. You wanna see the blood? No, I don't wanna see it. Okay. So it's okay, it's okay. Don't tell them. Don't tell them? Don't tell who? The people, because like if it bleeds too much, you gotta report it, but it wasn't too much. It was like a little bit, so it wasn't a big deal. So she goes back to the other arm. Uh-huh. And she says, you too fat. You too stupid. You made a mistake. Oh, no, you didn't. She said, okay. She looks at my knuckle. You have nice knuckles. I said, oh, thank you. She takes my hand, puts the needle right in. Oh. You don't call me stupid. No way. And so the blood comes out. You don't call me stupid. Exactly. Oh, my God. And she takes it. And so the blood is coming out. And she says, that's it. You're good. Oh, thank you. Lose weight. <laughs> no way. Get a degree. <laughs> Is this your father now? No. <laughs> Bro. Oh my god. You know, like for for anyone who's wondering, I'm seeing a band a band-aid on his like hand on the on like where near the his knuckles. knuckles. Near near his knuckles. And that's not where you're supposed to take blood work from. I too fat. You too fat. <laughs> this is insane. How how did she even get, like, a needle to, like... Oh, my God. I can't even imagine... Do you want to feel the needle? Like no. Your no. No, I'm okay. I'm okay. 
That was that was something else, man. It's amazing. Did you figure out about the Grand Canyon? Oh yeah, I, I saw. I searched up a little bit, and what was it? What does it say? There's a bunch of facts over here about the Grand Canyon. The Colorado ri- River runs through the Grand Canyon and has been eroding its steep sides for millions of years. So it's, I don't think it's like a giant river. It's Look just, at the dam. The dam. There's a Colorado dam. Colorado dam. I don't, the Grand Canyon's in what state? Not Colorado, is it? Like the Delaware River can run in New York sometimes. Colorado dam. List of dams in the Colorado River system. You suck what it. the? How are you call it? You can't use Google. Bro, I don't. I don't know. It's 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 crazy. Like, all right, we, we can't be we can't be googling stuff. Okay, right? I did a speech. You do something now. All right, let's talk about a story that happened to me. I don't know. I don't know what happened to me. My life. Hoover Dam. Long. Hoover Dam. Oh, isn't that that a giant dam? Yes. Oh, that's what stopped all the water. Yep. From going to the Grand Canyon. Left in its natural state, the American West would have been very different from what it is now. Instead, a fertile farmland, barren desert would dominate the landscape. Prosperous cities such as Los Angeles, Phoenix, and Las Vegas, I love Las Vegas, hmm. would not exist. Bringing up the long dry spells would be the uh, occasional and often disastrous flood. Breaking up the long dry spell, I don't even know. They're trying to say, they're, you know, they're trying those? to say that like during, like, There'd be long droughts and then out of nowhere a flood. And caused by wildly fluctuating water levels of Colorado River of the Grand Canyon, in the midst of the Great Depression, blueprints were drawn for a massive engineering project that would change the landscape, the economy, and the very destiny of the Southwest Hoover Dam. Originally named the Boulder Van, construction of the dam was greenlit by President Calvin Coolidge, whatever, 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 whatever. That dam yeah. stopped the water from coming inside the Grand Let Canyon. Let me see a picture of the dam. I'm wondering if it's the same dam that I'm thinking about. Yeah, that's the dam. Please describe this dam. It's that curved dam that, like, it's uh. It's Tell like, me about its curves. It's, it's it's the it's that like famous dam that everyone sees. Like, they, whenever they think about a dam, that's what they think about. Does it look like a condom? That, huh? Does it look like a condom? No, it doesn't. It acts like a condom. Yeah, it kind of does. But like it, uh, well, it's a bad condom because it lets some some stuff through. So that's not very good. It's called the little hole. Uh, and it, and the one that generates power, I think, for uh, for Las yeah. Vegas or something, right? It, no, it generates a lot of water power. But look, you see all the water that's yeah. Up? You see like a giant like bun- like a whole bunch of water on one side and nothing on the other side. Barely. That's crazy. That's what it used to be on the whole entire Colorado. And that and that flows into the Grand Canyon. Yes, it's supposed to. That's why the Grand Canyon is so steep because water used to run along it. Oh, and this this huge dam. How do they even build the dam? Like where? How do they even like? Begin in the words of my fairy lady. We start at the beginning. The beginning is very good to start when you learn with reading. It's what's the song? I don't know what you're talking about. The sound of music. The sound of music. I've never actually heard it. Well, screw you. No, no, don't put it on. Don't. Put I'm it putting on. it on. Copy striking, bro. We can't have that. No, bro, bro. Nightcore version. No, no, we can't. Nightcore. Every everything will be copy striked. Everything. Fine. We can't. Trying to put this on YouTube. All right. <laughs> It'll be copy striked. Screw you. Like I'm not even putting ads on it, but like I just I just don't want like the off chance that. Oh, you know what I love about YouTube? What? Mr. Beast. Yes. Oh my God, Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast. If you hear this, please listen to me. Listen to me right now. Please come to New York. I will take you everywhere. You will have the time of your life. In the, the bedroom. only thing. Is, hold, shut up. The only thing is, I don't have money. I'm broke as all hell. So We're I can't. We're both broke I, as hell. Shut up. <laughs> So you, I can't take you to the fancy places, but you'll have a fun time. I'll take you to the, to the, what, what's, what's it called? Uh, you don't even know when you say for him to come. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of the word. But Listen, I Mr. Beast, no. if you bring Chandler, if you bring Chandler, <laughs> I will let him win a match. No, no, no. So just so his streak goes Please away. Please bring the Viking. Like the Viking is what I need. I need to see if I'm taller than him and if I'm bigger than him. <laughs> he's I, stronger than you, though. He's probably stronger. He could lift both of us. I don't know. I might be able to beat him in arm wrestling. You will never be able to beat him in arm wrestling. I will bet money on it. Bro, I've I've beaten people with, like, giant muscles in arm wrestling. He's Viking! I know he's Viking. I, I come from, like, the same the, the Eastern Europe, like, kind of... I come from, like, the same strength. Like, there's Northern Europe that has, like, a bunch of strength and the Eastern Europe that has, like, the Russian strength. I'm Russian. Yeah, go be Bruski. Russian. <laughs> My mother's Russian. Real? Oh, what? Yes. 
He's like half the Romanian, half Ukrainian. It's not Russian. Russians want to think it's Russia. USSR. They used to live on the USSR. Okay, there we go. I was also under the USSR. Exactly. Communism. Well, I wasn't, but like, you know, I was born here. Yeah, no, my mother was born in uh, the communism. Yeah, same same with my dad and my mom. They were all born under con- communism. I think, I think it ended, like... Re- it ended in the 1990s, bro. 90s? Yes. Really? USSR broke up in the 90s. Yeah, but like... Why am I teaching you history? I don't know why. I can't remember. Like, I'm pretty sure I was sleeping through uh, U.S. history. Uh, not okay. U.S. history. Global Let's get back history. to that. Mr. Beast? Okay, Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast, listen, listen. Take the sound by. Take the sound by, Mr. Beast. I need you. I need you in my life. Come to New York. I will buy all Brooklyn. your merch. Brooklyn. I'll, I will buy all of your merch. I will do anything, Mr. Beast. <laughs> he's really cool. I, I really enjoy his content. And it's like, Mr. Beast, if you don't know this, it looks like he's bending down on his knees now. No, no, it's no, I'm not. He's making shit up. I'm uh, it's a down. podcast. They can't tell the difference. <laughs> I could be lying. You could be lying. But I'm the known psychopath. Yeah. So they wouldn't believe you. They should believe me. They won't. I'm beautiful. You're, well, they don't know that since it's a podcast, so you're ugly. But the sound shit. of my beautiful voice is very high. And I see the beauty of Mr. Here's Beast. Here's the thing. I see, I'm looking at the voice. Go ahead, speak right now. A deer, a female deer, Ray is not a star. Your voice is like so ridiculously like packed together in the in the voice. Uh, what you call it? How you see the sound waves? Be aware, Mr. Beast. He can't speak English for his Shut life. Shut the fuck up. He the the sound waves are so <laughs> packed and so like high pitched. It's insane. Like my my voice is pretty low, so it like well excuse just, me. That I can't sound like a real guy. But let me tell you something. I will do anything for you. Anything. You fucking creep. <laughs> yeah. All right. Maybe Matt- they can't even tell if I'm a guy or a girl on this podcast. No, they can pretty much tell you're a guy because you're you're very like creepy. So there yeah. are some girls that are creepy. Girls can be anything they want. Yeah, except they don't want to be creepy. Some are, and those are the crazy girls. Yeah. Well, I've actually never met a girl that's actually creepy. Oh, where have you been in your life? There's this one black girl that creeps me out so much. How does she creep you out? I'm not saying because she listens to this podcast. I'm not explaining it to her. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I've never met like a creep. I feel like it's a more of a guy thing. Like a guy creeps on a girl. There's not much of girls creeping on guys. There are more girls than guys in this world. It's more likely for a girl to be creepy. No, that's that's like... But like... The girls won't be creeped towards a guy because they have like... It's not. It's a little bit easier, you know, to uh, for a girl to get a guy than a guy or a girl. We have there's a there's a little bit more. Yeah, there's two things girl advantages that girls have. No, it's it's the guys that like they're very. Girls they're, have two advantages over every man. <laughs> I say B one, B two. I want to let everyone know that he's uh, holding his tits, his man tits, and then <laughs> moving them up and down and squeezing them. Mr. Beast, I could do that in front of you if you come. No, you don't want to see it. <laughs> Brooklyn is an amazing place. Bob has no idea about anything in Brooklyn. Okay. You come to Brooklyn, right? You come to Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. I will show you all the great places. We're not going to go to Astroland. We're not going to go to Luna Park. No. We're going to go into the dirty parts. We're going to meet some nice people. And we're going to have real fun. Fun that the police will never know about. What kind of fun do you know about? Please do enlighten me. The skate park. Like, there's an illegal skate park, like, somewhere in, like, Queens near the Long Island city, right? Actually? Where it, it's, like, a abandoned factory. If you explore it, it's amazing. Really? Yeah. You've been there? No, people tell me about it. I want to check it out. But it's completely illegal to go there. Yeah, so don't go there. <laughs> That's why I want to take Mr. Beast. No. Yes. He's, he's going to record it. And he can't record it because it's illegal, so it's useless. No, 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 no. We will say, this is not the factory. Listen, they, listen. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that at all. Mr. Beast, listen to me. If hold on, shut up, Ozzy. You were about to speak, and I saw. Now hold on. All you need is two giants Fair to enough. fight naked in a mud pit. That's all you need. There's your there's your next video. You do fight. realize I would do that without Mr. Beast. Shut up. We you know we don't need him to know that. <laughs> <laughs> when we fight for ten thousand dollars. <laughs> Hundred thousand. Who to whoever wins? No, no. 100,000 is too much. Those are for the YouTubers. I'm talking about the regular man. The, not even 10,000. 1,000. We'll do it for 1,000. Please. <laughs> and also, we'll let Chandler win. How would he win? We're the ones doing the mud fighting. If he joins in, I'll let him win. You know, maybe we, we could tag team and fight the Viking. 
Tag team and fight the Viking? Tag team and fight the Viking. Viking and Chandler together. <laughs> so that way Chandler might have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> if Chandler's on his team, he's going to lose. Shh. Don't let Mr. Beast think that through. <laughs> Man, it'd be so funny if you actually heard that. That would be insane. But he's... He, like... Honestly, enough bullshit right now. I like that guy. He gives out a lot of money. He gives out to charity, to... to to homeless people, to like uh, like buildings, and like and he gives it to like random people too. This is like just nice. It's just very nice for him. He's giving away like millions of dollars, man. It's insane. What are you searching up? Boobies? No, you're not. You're not watching porn in my house. <laughs> I, don't I could do whatever I want. See? Oh my god, you're actually searching up. What the hell is that? I have no idea. I'm on iFunny. Bro, get <laughs> off iFunny. We need to. We need to do this. Get your I don't have a lifeguard here at your beach. I'm not at the beach. This is a bathtub. I don't need. I don't need like uh, this to be uh, become like a fanfic read through, which would be so weird. I have you ever like seen those people who like uh, read their own fanfics? My sister is trying to tell me of who to ship in Harry Potter. In Harry Potter? Yes. I don't ship anyone in Harry Potter. My sister does. Yeah. But like, I, who? She says that all the, the everything right now is wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> she keeps saying Harry has to be with Draco. Harry, Draco. Harry has to be with Draco Malfoy. She has. They, she keeps saying they have to. What, the, bro, your sister is wrong because um, I'm so proud of her. She's becoming a little psychopath. <laughs> they can't be together. They hate each other. Doesn't he apologize for everything he did towards the end? Yeah, but they still, like, their personalities don't match. They just clash. It's just, like, it's not a, a one, like... She didn't say marriage. She said shipped. Yeah, but, like, shipping means that they... When you ship... Engage so- in a relationship. Yes. So... A relationship could last one year. They could ki- they could not kill each other for one year. No, I think they'd kill each other on the first day. They had seven years to not kill each other. Yeah. Draco almost did it a few times. Almost, but never. Yeah, because Harry's too good. I almost hit a bunch of people, but I never hit a bunch of people. No. You, Draco actually, like, almost killed him. Like, almost. Like, you you, you, you didn't even ra- You probably never raised your fist against someone. I highly doubt it. You're such a pacifist person. <laughs> so, I can give a crap of what you say. Hmm. I don't know what that is. What are you trying to be? I'm trying to be a pretty girl. Oh, God. It's so creepy. It's so creepy. Please stop. Does it sound oh, nice? Oh, God. No. No, it doesn't sound nice. Please stop. What does it sound like? Oh, my God. It's fucking creepy. That's what it is. Do you want to build a snowman? Oh, oh, God. This, no one. No one needs to hear this. You know what? This 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 will get, this is getting negative views. Like, it'll Fuck, be, you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck <laughs> you. This, this is what this whole podcast is going to be. Fuck you. No. Fuck you. No. Fuck you. There's a king size bed. Let's go. No. <laughs> Why do you gotta turn to sexual, man? Everything's Why? sexual for me. Have you actually had sex? Fuck you. Exactly. There you go. That's only overly sex. No, actually, no, I don't even know. I was gonna say only over sexually uh, people who haven't had sex. I think so over sexualized. But no, I think. I you think- ever seen the Netflix show Big Mouth? No. It's so much about sex. It's only about sex. It's about puberty. Puberty? Puberty. And this guy's... Oh, I think I've seen some commercials for it. Didn't didn't he, like, have a boner in one of those? Yeah. Yeah, I figured. It's that type of show. It got crazy. Yeah? Did you, did you finish the entire show? Yeah, and I'm waiting for the next season. How is it? It's beautiful. Beautiful? And really creepy. It makes the... I cringed a little bit. I was like, they're psychotic. <laughs> How are they psychotic and you're not like... A little... What grade was she? Seventh grader was humping a little teddy bear in oh, a gym oh. in a sleepover. Mm. And Okay, no, I'm good. And she felt embarrassed of it. Right. But then they overcame all the... All the kids became unembarrassed of everything they did. So she started humping it in front of everybody. We don't need these shows in our lives. I need them in my life. This is hilarious. No, that's not okay. It's, it's a cartoon, I, so it's legal. No, well, I feel wrong just like hearing they about it. They should never watch anime if you feel wrong about that. I mean, this is, the thing about anime is like they, they have lollies, but they're like a thousand years old usually. There are some lollies that are really, really not. Yeah? 
I don't watch those shows, so I wouldn't know. You apparently do you watch those shows with uh, <clears throat> the underage Wally? Is this official court case? Am I being really interviewed? <laughs> this is uh, your what's 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 it, what's it called? Uh, uh, what is it called? That freaking thing where they uh, affidavit? No, not the affidavit. There's another thing when they. Uh, Record you, record what you're doing. God, I don't know the word. What do you mean, you what word? word? There's what? a there's a word. Is it called an interview? Um, interrogation? Interrogation, but there's a different word. We gotta stop being on our phones on these podcasts. <laughs> uh, oh, inter- by the way, but in Bob's house, you know what I see? I think you see three rock salts. Three rock salts. Three rock salts. Well, they're 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 one of them. Two of them are for like the feet, and they they're like to help. I don't know what they are. Can I touch this one? Sure, you could touch it. That, that that one is like to kind of freshen up the air with like, make it kind of like the smell, make this place smell like the sea, kind of. I don't smell anything. It smelled like you when I first entered this house. <laughs> Smells like me. I what smell do two I things. Smell like? You really don't want to know. You smell like you. Oh. It's your natural musky smell. Musk. It is. I smell two things when I went to enter this this uh, place. Okay. Pizza, and Bob. Yeah, we had pizza before this. Was... Yes, if you can tell from the smell of our breaths. Mr. Beast, if you come, we could give you good New York pizza. He's already been here. He, he do you know he did uh Shh. he did the steak. He Shh. ate like the golden steak. You'll get one dollar pizzas. The best one dollar <laughs> pizzas in America. Yeah, yeah, I, I, they definitely are. But we had well we had Papa John's though, so it's not like the we had like crap pizza, but like cheap pizza. You know how many pizza you know how many colleges we could sneak him into? Yeah, but what's the point of sneaking him into colleges? To grab kids and have a big school fight. What? You never seen Avatar: The Last Airbender? I have seen Avatar: The, the Boiling Last Rock. Rock. The Boiling Rock. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. no. What? Hold That's on. the jail in the Fire Nation. Okay. Right inside the inside the uh, it's hot water place. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. The, so they had when they had the riot. Yeah. How do you start a riot? Grabs a person. Riot. <laughs> and they all just begin. Ryan! Ryan! I love Avatar The Last Airbender. Oh my god. They're gonna make a live action of it. Oh. Why? No, apparently it's by the makers of Avatar that are gonna do it. Live action? Live action on Netflix. I don't know, man. It doesn't sound like a good idea. Anything to live action. It's especially Netflix. They didn't do Death Note good, man. They, they, I didn't watch that. Good you didn't. It's very good you didn't. It's not good. I mean, Death Note, I like Death Note, but not too much. You wait, hold on. You don't like Death Note? I watched the series series two times. Okay. I love it, but it's not like after I was rewatching for the second, the first time I watched it, it was like amazing. Right. But, but when I watched it for the second time, because I already knew what was gonna happen. Yeah. So I was like paying attention to the minor stuff, like very very minor. It was good, but not like too good. Too good? What do you mean? Drifters. What do you mean drifters? You know the anime drifters? No. It's an amazing anime. Amazing anime. I feel like you've told me about this before. I did. That was off the air, so I'm going to explain to you again what Drifters is. Explain to me on air. Go okay. ahead. Okay. Imagine, in the time of the Samurais, and they were fighting, one Samurai warrior is so crazy, he lets his uncle ride away so he could kill the enemy. He jumps onto the enemies, and the enemies have their spears out, so they all stab him. They stab the, the son? Samurai, that, the, the, he's the nephew, right? Okay, nephew. He he jumps and tries to kill the general. Right. All the all the people soldiers stab him with a spear. Yes. Apparently they missed all his vital organs. <laughs> so he stands up. Okay. And he kills all of them. Wow. That sounds like. Well, specifically the general, and it, then a lot of them it, ran away. Is this an anime or manga or both? Okay. So this is this is is it a good anime? Is it's it good great. animation. So the guy when he's you know he's wounded right. He walks into the woods. Okay. When he's walking into the wo- woods, 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 not woods, 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 woods. <laughs> he gets teleported okay. into a hallway with a person at the desk and a bunch of doors. The guy says, there, and he gets transported. He goes through this one door and he gets transferred into this fantasy world. What's this fantasy world? Elves, magic, everything. Magic. 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 No love magic. And so... Apparently in this world, there's a, these things called drifters. They okay. come from another world. Yeah. And everyone's racist against them, discriminating against them. Wait, drifters are what now? People from Ameri- from the Earth world. Oh, okay. 
right? They oh, get okay. shot first I, I, as well. I, I, see, I see where the connection There's a bunch, is but they're all from different time periods, and they're right. all famous people. Oh, all like, famous people. Like Nobunaga Oda? Who the fuck is that? Nobunaga? I don't know who that is. The most... Fa- Everyone in Japan knows this name. I'm not in Japan. Well, screw you. <laughs> He's like a famous um uh, Japanese time general or something. Something. Okay. I could, I don't know Japanese history. I, all I know is that this one anime about Nobunaga, okay. Oda, the, about boobs. Okay. That's all I know about him. That's all you. That's all the anime you watch, or with, with boobs in them. Whatever no, has the biggest. Boobs. I watch anime with beautiful two pieces of round plot. <laughs> round plot. Oh, it has to be circular. It has to, you know, like... Well, round, not, round, not, not all, all plots are round. round. Not all plots are round. Some are a little saggy. Oh Some God. are a little like this, pear shape. Some are small. You don't, Some are I big. Don't, I don't need to hear it. I just don't need to hear it. You don't know about you don't know about plots? I know about plot. Now, there's plot, and then there's plot, plot. And there's plot, plot without any bras. Now, those are the amazing plots. No, no, no. There's plot. There's plot, plot. No, wait, which was plot plot? I don't know which. I feel like I've, I forgot. They're all the was. same. They're all the same. It's just the same meaning. Yes. That's crazy. I'm a, I'm a little bit sick, man. I plot th- plot is the plot, the blue plot. Okay. Plot plot means the actual plot. And then plot plot plot, plot cubed is. I don't know. That's crazy. <laughs> a new term that will be coming soon. To a theater near you. To a theater near you. Can I do. I, f- I feel like I could do a good, like, uh, what is it? The good movie voice. Here we have... I don't know. I don't know what to say. I can't ad-lib. I'm not like... Keep trying. You can do it. I can do it. You can do it. Fuck off. (laughs) Um, Right in the bedroom. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god, you're so weird. Like, I... How do you even get that way? Well, you see, I fell down the stairs when I was three years old. Right. Normally is... Normally odd stuff. Mm -hmm. And so as I'm rolling down the stairs, my mother yells... It's like, why did you break the door? <laughs> so as I'm rolling down this, and so that's what she writes. She said, you got blood on the door. And then she said, where's that blood coming from? It's coming from me here, you stupid. Bro, you're, you're actually insane. Like, I don't even know where to go with your insanity. You could, we could go to a strip club with my insanity. I don't think we can. Yes, we can. I don't think you're allowed. I'm allowed. No, you're not. Money's good everywhere. I'm pretty sure you're banned from every strip Money club. is good anywhere. No. I wear an overcoat. It's like, I walk down the streets in overcoat. Coat. Overcoat? Overcoat. That can't disguise you. You're a big uh, motherfucker. <laughs> then I'll get a big overcoat. Yeah, but like, the fact that they'll notice you. I'll screw you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, actually, don't, don't screw me. No. <laughs> don't screw me. Okay, so ba- game back to Drifters. And so there's these other these drifters are the good people from Earth, and then Enders. Where the hell did we leave off of drifters? I can't even remember. I don't know. I don't care. I'm just continuing on. Okay, back to whatever thought we had from the <laughs> other tangent we had from the other tangent we had. <laughs> Too many tangents. Too many tangents. We're on a completely different track now. We're now talking we gotta about fix drifters. This. There's nothing to fix. There's like this whole thing is off the rails. It really is. Like I wouldn't even know what to like name what we're doing right now. Like like last last uh last session we uh I th- believe I named it General Hooker. <laughs> Which I love is a General. great podcast name. Great great episode <laughs> name. But like this one, I don't know. Anime? Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. We had pizza with Mountain Dew. Mm. <sighs> Delicious. Please, Mountain Dew, please sponsor us. <laughs> sponsored by Mountain Dew. Not really. <laughs> this, we, there's, we're sponsored with zero listeners. <laughs> zero and one. Zero and one. Zero one. Me and you. <laughs> I don't know. There might actually be a listener. You upload them? I watch them. There's one view at least. <laughs> I actually do listen to them back. Well, I have to listen to them back to make sure that there's nothing in there that like we... I don't want to reveal, like, locations or names or, you know, some crazy stuff. And, like, we click our tongues way too much. I'm cutting all... I'm cutting all the tongue clicks out. <laughs> How do you Especially, click? we just did, like, a whole clunk, uh, t- tongue clicking session. Cutting that out. No one will get to hear that. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, my God. We, we click our tongues way too much. If you want to tell a man what to do, tell him to do the opposite. 
If you want to do dishes, tell him don't do the dishes. That doesn't work. It does work. No. It does work. No, it doesn't. I do it on you all the time. What do you do? Go ahead. Guys will never notice. What? 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 Guys will never know. Do you want the rest of this Mountain Dew? <laughs> what do you What do you do? You want say? the rest of this Mountain Dew? No, no, no. I want, okay, I want thank to hear you. What you said. Guys will never notice. Yeah. I have no idea what that means. Yeah, but I just got the rest of the Mountain Dew. Yeah, but like, I don't know what you said. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. Bro. What? I don't know. I know you don't know. That's why I know it. <laughs> You're insane, man. I'm definitely insane. Now, getting back to drifters. Drifters. Okay. Stop. Back to the tangent. <laughs> so, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop talking. Go ahead. And oh, he's silence. Gonna... You can't like. You gotta speak. You gotta speak. Go ahead. Come on. <laughs> like you gotta I tell have, the person. I'm to... going. To, I also have to cut out break like our pauses because we don't know how to speak coherently back and forth because a lot of human interaction is normally very like a pause. There's no like. A very speedy conversation, and that's that's very like oh, I shit talk for too a podcast. Fast. I talk too pa- fast. No, no, this is not the problem. You talking too fast. People can hear you. People can like understand. the The brain is a very powerful thing. Except, however, my- shut up. <laughs> Your brain is very nice. All right. Aww, aww. It's like you've seen nice. it. Yeah, well, maybe. All I know is not I'm not getting uh, organ organ donation from you. <laughs> uh, listen, I need your kidneys to be good, okay? Oh my god. Okay, tangents on tangents on tangents. Back to what I'm saying. Her basic conversation. Holy shit, I can't, like, we can't even keep track of one fucking thing. <laughs> okay, what I was saying, in our normal conversations, there are pauses and breaks that are just way too long, and our mics cut off because they can't hear anything, so it's just silence. And then we get a... Uh, it's it's. <sighs> See, I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> um, there's like a giant break, and then all you hear is nothing. And I I have to cut all that out. I have to search through every single minute. I have to listen throughout like, the entire podcast once, and then after like going through everything, cutting everything out that's like needed. It's not like I'm cutting out conversation. I'm only cutting out like uh, crazy like clicks and pauses but then I have to listen to it again to make sure everything all the sound quality is good and honestly after listening through it twice we're bearable <laughs> we're bearable <laughs> we're bearable we're bearable okay yeah. so getting back to um, drifters. drifters back on track I know right finally yeah, yeah there was there was the first track over there second track we're on the seventh track right now <laughs> He just got it all. He got it onto the night track now. Bro, it's crazy. Drifters. When we... (laughs) Drifters. Focus. Stop that. I can't focus while you're doing that. (laughs) Say drifters one more time and I'm going to smack you. Drifters. We have to focus. In this drifters anime, there are these evil people that come from Earth called Ents. Like one of them was... um, What is her name? The one, the jo- Joanne Arc. Oh, Joanne Joan Arc. Yeah. So she's one of the characters on the evil side. Oh, she's on the evil side? Yeah. But she was a good person. I don't know. They called her evil. Because she's out for revenge against humanity. Oh, for burning her at the stake? Alive. Yeah, I would be too. So that's why these ends are, are the people are that are want to destroy humanity. All right. I get, I get the basic concept of drifters. Basically, people from another world. All from the same fa- world. All from the same world. Famous people. So, is it finished? The manga or the anime? Anime. Finished. Like, they're done. Yeah, but season two is going to come out soon, hopefully. When did the last season come out? 2016. 2016. And <laughs> you're hoping for a second season? You sound like Overlord fans. I love Overlord. You know I what? love Overlord. You know when the first one came out? What? It came out like uh, Overlord came out in some year and some time, and because of this, we understand very few about Overlord. Just know very much that there's a light novel and other stuff. Oh my God! Shut up! You don't even know what you're talking about. Overlord came out in 2015. How do you know the year? I know because I've uh, I'm so upset that I missed it. <laughs> he loves Overlord. He loves it too much. Overlord came out 2015. Season two came out 2018. Season uh, three came out 2019. 
No, 2018. It, no. I think 2017 and 2018. Like, it came uh, into fall, and then, it, like, uh, season three came into spring of 2018. Something like that. Something and like that. You're waiting as long as that. There's been no... Uh, there's some animes that just don't get a second season, man. I know. I hate those. I, I want them to have a second season. I'm hoping them to have a second season. This is my hopes and dreams. And hopes and dreams? This is my hopes and dreams, Bob. <laughs> oh, man. I hope. I, I mean, that's the thing. I don't want to get into an anime that uh, that doesn't have an uh, end in the anime. I want to watch it. Is the manga at least good? Is the Which art one? good? Drifters? Drifters. Of course. It's great. Yeah? And is the manga finished? No. Fuck. <laughs> you only reset when it's finished? That's what I want. Because I don't want to have, like, another One Piece. Like, it's it's 900 chapters long, man. Nine, 930 right Dungeon now. Seeker. Oh, Dungeon Seeker. Have you been keeping up? Yeah. Are you up to the latest chapter? What? They're not dead yet. Chapter 30? Yeah, they're not dead yet. Yeah. They're just fighting. I mean, that that guy might be dead. Which guy? You, you Did you read chapter 30? I thought I did. It <laughs> came out, like, last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... She caught him. What do you mean she caught him? She caught him. Bro. Shut up. <laughs> Don't read the manga now. I'm reading the manga now. Oh my god. I guess I'll have to entertain you with my voice right now. It's uh, it's about 12.53 and I don't know what to talk about. Ozzy. Yes, I'm reading the manga. Hold on. I'm curious. I know there's chapter 30. I've read chapter 30. Well, I'm just like, oh, this part. Yeah, to the end. Yeah, yeah, he's not dead. He's not gonna die. You don't know that. This is uh, this is storyline concept one hundred and one. I know it's storyline concept one hundred and one, but this whole story and the has been insane. In every battle, yeah, the hero always has a fatal injury, right? And he always somehow defeats the pe- person, right? That's just that's just one hundred and one. I guess, but like this this whole. Please read Dungeon Seeker. It's amazing. <laughs> Sponsored by Gen- Dungeon Seeker. <laughs> not actually. <laughs> Sponsored by every company in the world if they're willing to pay us. Yeah, not spawned. We're all we're actually not spawned. We're not sponsored by anyone, but we're willing to be sponsored. Yeah. Yeah, but nobody will listen to us. <laughs> Are you kidding me? They will listen to my beautiful, sexy voice. Oh my god. They'll they'll come to that part and they will just run away. You know what we should have on the show? They'll throw their phone out the window. At the sound, a of lot of creepy. Japanese people love traps. Yeah, I've noticed that. What is up with traps in anime? They're in closet gays. <laughs> They're in closet gays. How's how's that work? You're in a closet and you're not telling anyone you're gay. <laughs> no, I mean like they're making traps. Yes. They they males dressed up as females. Why does that make them in closet gays? Because they want it. Because I guess it's against Japanese culture or something. Is it? Uh, Look down upon. Really? Yeah. Gay people. Dude, yeah. Really? And all over the world, in lots of cultures, gay people are looked down upon. Yeah, I, I know in a lot. I didn't know Japan. I thought they were like a little bit... Uh, Moderate? Yeah, I Dude, thought... Dude, they're, they're very strict. Really? And they're very strict on a lot of stuff. People come out, yeah, openly. Mm-hmm. But it's still very strict over there. That's crazy. Dude, they're very cultural. Are you kidding me? When the emperor couldn't have a child... There's still an emperor of Japan. Wait, actually? Yes, but he doesn't have any powers. Like the queen? Yes, just like Queen Elizabeth. There's an emperor of Japan. No freaking way. We're always too much on our phones. <laughs> emperor of Japan. I need I need to see who the emperor of Japan is right now. Yep, hold on. Aki Akihito? How do I know all this stuff? Wow. He was uh, born December... 23rd, 1933. Yeah. Oh, right before World War II. Yeah. Or during it. He's the current emperor? Yeah, and he has a son. But before he had the son, he wasn't able to have a son. And the whole... And so they didn't have their... um, You know, he, he doesn't have any powers. But the people of Japan were worried about him. If he didn't have a son, finally he had a son. They were happy to have an heir. Wow. The crown prince of Japan. Naruhito. Naruhito! I heard he married somebody. What do you mean? Of course he married somebody. He's a person. Oh. But who like, is this? Who do you... Like, marry a famous person? No, who is she? Crown Princess was born in 19... 
Just googling stuff. I feel like we need like a third person just to Google stuff, just to fact check us. Because we're. I'm like, usually right about my facts. I I mean that's surprisingly yeah, it's insane. Does he how, have any children? I don't know. Does he? That doesn't say. It's Which about, the the crown prince? Yeah, the crown prince does he have sons or anything? I don't know. Highly doubt it. Maybe. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know Japan still had an emperor. Yeah. You We're see, just learning a lot about history right now. Are you now. talking about? I knew this stuff. <laughs> I'm learning a lot about. You're this learning story. a lot. Probably all our viewers are calling you dumbass. Yeah, probably. I'm not. I'm not. Everyone, in, everyone I know thinks I'm smart, but I'm really not. Yeah, you should see his house. A Bob's house is one of the cleanest houses I've been to, uh-huh. and I don't see a book in sight. Shut up. There's like. Hold on. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Shut <laughs> There's no study material in sight, Bob. Okay, I have a Kindle. Okay, that that works for both. Where is the said Kindle? Yeah, on my phone. There's a Kindle app. Listen. <laughs> you know what you told me yesterday? What, what did I tell you? Bob, you told me yesterday that you bought the light novels. Yes. For the slime. Yes. The reincarnated slime. You're not reading books, books. Hold on. Plug real quick. Reincarnated as a slime... Best light novel, best anime, best manga. Please read it, watch it, everything. Support, Support the, the, the creator. Just everything. Amazing. I would love if just I could have a second season of that anime. You know what I want? What? I want a Japanese girlfriend. All right. Why Why a Japanese girlfriend? Japanese girlfriend with big boobs. Why specific? Oh, I, I can't understand specifically why big boobs, but why Japanese? It's because so that when I go to Japan, she'll tell me where all the good stuff is. All the good stuff? All the wonderful good stuff. Oh my god, stop rubbing your tits. The tits want what they want. Yeah, but like, I don't want what you want. <laughs> You're very, very psychotic. Thank you. Mr. Beast, I can be one of the psychotic people on your show. Oh, we did talk about Mr. Beast in this we episode. We did talk about it. I'm forgetting we should, a lot. We should name the episode Mr. Beast. Maybe. Maybe he'll see it one day. <laughs> no, all right. I think uh, I think that's where we have to end it off because it's uh, we talked about way too much shit, and I I can't remember the half of it. And I gotta go to college. Yeah, it's uh, it's 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 one o'clock right now. I wouldn't now. even go to college with this homework due today. Oh shit! Okay, I haven't yeah. even started yet. Yeah, so we we have we have to get going. Please, we have we have this episode uploaded on YouTube. Castbox, SoundCloud. I'm gonna try Himalaya. It's not letting me upload. All of them are with Therapy with a Psychopath. All of them are named Therapy with a Psychopath. You can find us there. Like, comment, subscribe. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Be please be kind. I <laughs> and just remember, as we're leaving you, we are the true psychopaths. But there's a little bit of psychopath in each of us. I hope you have a wonderful night. Please subscribe and like and comment. If you could please do all of that, we will rub each other and just tell you about it. You're doing you're doing so good. I like that ending so much. And you just had to ruin it. Alright. Psychopath. <laughs> Have a good one, everyone. Bye. Bye.